So, welcome to Canada. Uh, all the uh, historic district commission meeting to order. Yes, we can. Acting Chairman Peter Davison. I'm here. Mm -hmm. John Graham. Andrew Munsey. Present. Mr. Graham is absent, and Julie Erdman, our Director of Planning. All right. Okay. Um, has everybody read the minutes? The last meeting. Can we have a motion to accept the minutes? Motion. Anybody want a second? A second. All in favor, say aye. Oh. Thank you. See, wasn't that dramatic? <laughs> our, our first applicant, this would be James 47 Main Street, map U06, lot 47. The skylight. Would Mr. Herrick like to come up to the table or to tell us all about what he's doing? Sure. <laughs> so, I uh, uh, I own 47 Main. There's three apartments and uh, a tenant uh, set something on the stove and, and bumped the burner on and uh, caused a pretty bad fire. So it got in the interior. It, uh, it uh, the fireman had to come through a little bit, uh, a little bit through the eve overhang but mainly it was an interior of that so in the rooms where the fire was hot the windows got ruined and uh, i'm here for that reason for one and i'd like to uh, so i need to replace the windows and i would like to add a skylight to make the uh, eat-in kitchen more pleasant okay no, we do have a second. Mm -hmm. And that's when we get back to what it was. Yes. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. May I add something? Sure. From the packet that I gave you, there are uh, two changes that I'd like to make on the upstairs windows. And I can leave record of this uh, in, a, in a new window order. But in the upstairs windows in the dormer, there are two windows in the kitchen upstairs. Since these, that's right, sir. And that's a good picture because that's the second change also. But the first change is I'd like to have those be casement. I will get the cross rail, the check rail as a mountain. So it'll look like the check rail there, but it'll, and it'll be six over six, just like you're seeing there. Um, but it'll be casement because you have to lean over. Mm -hmm. and that's a bad way to lift up a window. <laughs> okay. So that's the first uh, change. And then the second change is similar. Downstairs, see those three windows with the one middle window? Of this particular picture? May I approach? Yeah. So these two windows, that... That's a transom from an old door. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, not, I'm not intending to replace that. Um, but these three windows, what I would like to do is do three oh, casement windows and, and have them be at the uh, at window at the countertop height. So they'd be three two foot wide by three and a half foot tall casements instead of those three two double hungs and the and uh, an awning because that'll be that's where the sink will be in the kitchen okay and that's well behind uh do you have the site plan yeah this one yeah yeah there behind the bay yeah it's over in here okay so so those are the two changes and you're up. Can we leave this with you? Uh, 
as the new order and the amendment that reflects those changes. Okay. Thank you. Question from the group. Um, I didn't quite follow the second change to the windows. You said you're referring to three windows on the first floor, but I wasn't yeah. clear where those were. So these bay, as close as I can, I'm replacing those size windows okay. and the, the look. Um, for these windows, they're they're all into the kitchen. These these two here, right? Yeah. And so, as opposed to having uh, double hungs with the sills down here, I'd like to have them up, you know, four inches above the countertop, and do three windows same size is what that uh, order reflects. Okay. So, so you're adding three window. casement windows. You're, you're adding window or no? So eliminating one, two, three, and then adding. It'll be kind of centered over under this dormer, but there'll be a triple casement window. So, so all three of them push together. Yeah. So okay. Underneath okay. the dormer. So like these these two windows are gone. These three windows are gone and they're replaced by three that are there. Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Anybody got any questions? Any other questions? We finished one and then go to the other. Let's see the Um, No, we haven't finished. Okay. I think the eyes look at it is all the same. And it's not seen by the road, so yeah. I think grouping them together is yeah. visually an improvement, and I don't see any problem with that. All right. Any other questions for anybody? Does anybody have any comments from the audience? Anything about anything? No. Okay. Then the comment period is closed. Does anybody want to make a motion on the last page? Sure, you can give it us. Yeah, I do need to say with changes as explained by an applicant. Yeah. Well, sure. yeah. Right. So I will uh, make a motion to um, I make a motion to accept the uh, or to approve the certificate of appropriateness for the window replacement and skylight addition. As outlined in the application and as amended um, at the meeting here, which I guess we should describe, right? So yeah, describe that amendment as being a change to with dorm windows, windows being casement, dorm, dorm windows being casements uh, with the same month and pattern, and first four windows being replaced with a group of three. Double on our cadence, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think with that amendment, um, how else should I read this? I think, did you, did that, did you get all that? Yeah, I think enough of okay. what he said exactly. I'm sure that it's okay. Um, yeah, we can always. Spice it up. Yeah. All right. Does anybody want to second the motion? No second motion. All right. All in favor, say aye. 
Can I assume that the motion included uh, number one, the commission? Yes. Okay. Yep. I'll fix it. We're getting, we're getting used to this. Okay. I don't you, know. Help you. You're weird today. <laughs> and did you ask who's in favor? They were all there. They were in they favor. Where was I out to lunch? Thank you. No, no, you were going to ask another question, which was okay. All right. I'm all set. You are all set. <laughs> Motion passes. You are all set. You will give us a of appropriate by you do. And then you'll be able to do your thing. Great. Thank you. All right, that brings us up to um, applicant uh, project name Six Elm Street, Luke. I'm going to say Sellier. Sellier. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, my name's never been pronounced right in my history of my life. So, um, U E map U O six slot fifty proposed window with front door replacements. The floor is yours to give us your proposal. Thanks. Um, so we're looking to replace, I believe it's eight windows on the second floor. The first floor has already been done. Um, so we're going to use um, the inner window with uh, similarly divided light to space to bars to make it appropriate um, from the road. It'll be more efficient for eliminating lead out of the, uh, in the old window and some of the board windows aren't operating. Uh, at the same time, this application is like to replace the front door because it's brought in out um, uh, with the thermometer unit, which is what's there currently. And that's the scope of it. Well, and I just want to know I, I think I wrote it in your memo that normally we wouldn't include the front door if you're replacing something with the yeah. exact same unit. Yeah. Um, but because it was back in 2000. And Six, um, yeah, 2006. Um, the applicant at that time had applied to replace their front door with a wooden um, unit, and that was what was approved. Mm -hmm. I decided to include that. Well, we'll get ready. Yeah. It was a lesson for my son. What does it mean when the door locks out? Because <laughs> they all clean into this one. Just reading it over. Um, um, questions? Yeah, I was just curious. Um, is fiberglass, I mean, what happened to it? Did the frame ride out or something? Because the, uh, the threshold oh, ride it out. Threshold, okay. yeah. It's actually the, the door and the side lights are in the perfect shape. The threshold is probably. Yeah, I was going to say the fiberglass is going to rot. It's going to be blue exactly. So okay. kind of, it's unfortunate. Uh, we're we're going to upgrade to. Uh, some um, composite thresholds and side lights. We don't want that. Yeah, actually, yeah. Any other questions for the applicant? All righty. Then, do we have a motion on 6 Elm Street? It's on the last page. We'd like to make the motion. I'll make a motion. All right. Uh, that the historic district commission approves the certificate of appropriateness for window and front door replacements as outlined in the application and as satisfied by 225-18B1A and 225-18B1 and 225-18E2A of the top home zoning ordinance with the following conditions. The commission's review and approval refers to these findings of fact, plans and the materials submitted by the applicant and the written and oral comments of the applicant, the representative the reviewing officials and members of the public as reflected in the public record. Any changes to the appro approved plans not called for in these conditions shall require further review and approval in accordance with the House of the Ordinance. Before we vote, does anybody have any comments before we continue on with the motion? I forgot to ask that. I'm assuming nobody does. So. We need a second. We need a second to the motion. Sure. Second <laughs> is all in favor of passing the motion. Raise your hand. There we go. Motion passes. Did we get a certificate of appropriateness? Thank you. Beautiful house, by the way. Love that house. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
That was like a record meeting. Wow. I have a motion to adjourn the meeting. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Yeah. Yeah. Any is adjourned. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>